humanity? No, no, no. Come on, come on now. Common humanity against the common enemy. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. May the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him. He said, Kulun nas banu Adam wa Adam khulikat minat turab, he said. Every human being is a child of Adam and Adam was created from dust. So this should remind those of us who are in the Muslim community, that we cannot come out just when something happens to Muslims. We cannot just stand up when Muslims are murdered. We must stand up when human beings are murdered. We cannot, we cannot stand for justice for ourselves and not stand for justice for the rest of humanity. It is a common humanity, and our common humanity, regardless of ethnicity, regardless of skin color, male or female, young or elder, our common humanity must step forward and stand against a common enemy. Who is the common enemy? Allah tells us in the Quran that the common enemy is shaitan. The common enemy is Satan. Allah says in the Quran, Inna shaitan lil insan in aduan mubin. Surely Satan, surely the devil, surely shaitan is an enemy to humanity. So we have to understand as people of faith that when we see churches being bombed that that's an act of Satan. When we see people kicking in the doors of churches that's an act inspired by Satan. When we see people rolling into mosques and pulling guns and gunning down innocent men, women and children that's an act inspired by Satan and we have to call it out and we have to identify it for what it is. Allah teaches us in the Quran. Allah teaches us in the Quran. Allah teaches us in the Quran that Shaitan whispers and inspires. And I am here today to remind you, to remind you on behalf of the brothers and sisters men, women, and children of the Mosque of Islamic Brotherhood to remind you on behalf of the Association of African American Imams to remind you on behalf of the Muslim Alliance in North America that we in America have a common enemy and that common enemy are the white supremacists and the white supremacists and their evil ideology, their evil, satanically inspired ideology is responsible for the taking of millions of lives throughout the world, not just the Muslim lives, but the lives of human beings. So we say, we stand in opposition to white supremacy, and frankly, it's about time that the Muslim community as a whole woke up to the reality of white supremacy in America. So we thank Allah. We thank Allah. We thank Allah and he asked, we asked him to unite us against the common enemy. I want to remind you, we live in New York City and the same people the same ideology, the same type of thinking that was responsible for the killing of human beings in New Zealand is the same type of thinking and the same ideology that took lives of human beings in the synagogue in Pittsburgh. It's the same thinking. 
the same type of human being that murdered people in black churches, not just recently, but decade after decade after decade. So stand up, stand up and see yourself as part of a common humanity standing against a common enemy. And remember, lastly, lastly, don't make this a rally just about immigration. Did you hear what I said? Don't just make this a rally about immigration because I got news for you. Everybody in America isn't an immigrant. Did you hear what I said? Everybody in America is not an immigrant. So if you make this into an immigration rally, you leave out our Native American brothers and sisters you, who are not immigrants. If you make this into an immigration rally, you leave out those of us who are in Africa who are African Americans because we are not immigrants. As Malcolm X said, we didn't land on Plymouth Rock. Plymouth Rock landed on us. And so we oppose white supremacy in all of its form. Hitler was a white supremacist. Have you forgotten that? Have you forgotten that Hitler was a white supremacist? And that these Nazis in Charlottesville are white supremacists? But remember that when this land was taken from the Native Americans, Nazism had not yet come to America when my African ancestors were kidnapped from the land of their birth and brought here by first, by, by force, there was no such thing as Nazism in America. So stand for truth, stand for justice, and remember the words of al Hajj Malik al-Shabazz Malcolm X, who said, stand up, and whoever doesn't stand for something will lie down for anything. It's time past for us to be laying down and it's time to stand and stand for justice and to do it in a way that will earn us the blessings of Allah. Subhanaka Allahumma wa bihamdi. Ashadu an la ilaha illallah. Astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk. Ameen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Tabir! Tabir! Thank you so much, Imam Talib. He hit a very strong point that the same bullet that killed Laquan McDonald and Tamir Rice is the same bullet that killed over 51 people in a mosque in a place of worship. And don't you ever forget that. When Muslims are under attack, what do you do? When Muslims are under attack, what do you do? When Muslims are under attack, what do you do? When the people are under attack, what do you do? When the people are under attack, what do you do? The people united will never be defeated. The people united will never be defeated. The people united will never be defeated. Thank you guys so much. So the next person I'm going to introduce today is Brother Khalil, who is who's, who's from the Turkish American National Steering Committee. So please put Excuse your hands me. together I'm for Turkish Brothers and sisters in USA, Turkey, New Zealand, and around the world, Assalamu Alaikum. What a beautiful crowd. On March 15, 2019, hatred and rage filled white supremacist terrorism took the lives of innocent 50 people and injured other 48. The ones who lost their lives are martyrs of the entire world. The Turkish American National Steering Committee representing Turkish Americans condemned this heinous act with the strongest terms. This is a terrorist act perpetrated not just against Muslims but all humanity. 
Our hearts and prayers are with the victims. They have not vanished. As our Holy Book Quran teaches us, we do not consider them deceased. Their legacy lives on in New Zealand, in Turkey, here in Times Square, and all around the world. Their legacy lives in the hearts of 1.8 billion Muslims and in the hearts of millions of millions of non-Muslims all around the world. Our hearts are broken, but we are not. We Muslims and the people with conscience around the world are gathered in solidarity, stronger than ever. World has not seen such a unifying force as we represent the peaceful message of Islam. This kind of evil acts shall not scare us. Thank you to my fellow countrymen in US and Turkey and millions around the world for sharing our pain. Thank you to our law enforcement for sacrificing their lives to protect us. Thank you to Christian and Jewish neighbors for bringing flowers to our mosques and sitting inside the mosques so we can feel safe during our prayers. Our collective voice will shatter hate. Our collective voice will suffocate the white supremacist terrorism. Our collective voice will increase the awareness against Islamophobia. The Turkish American Nation Steering Committee denounces targeted Islamic Islamophobic activities against Muslim, Muslims all around the world. I call upon all the countries in the world, especially in the West, to end hate speech and politics of fear. This heinous act was not isolated, no random act of violence. It was the result of anti-Muslim rhetoric. Terrorism has no race, color, or religion. I call upon all world communities to fight against all forms of terrorism. It all started with a smiling face of beautiful brother Dawood Nabi, welcoming his killer with a big smiling face, telling him, Hello, brother. These were his last words. He was the first one to fall. These words beginning were beginning of a conversation. Together, we can carry on his final act of kindness. Hello, brother. Merhaba, kardeşim. Ehlen, ahi. Thank you all. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Muslims make this country strong. We've been here all along. Muslims make this country strong. We've been here all along. Hang in there. One more hour, inshallah, we will be marching to the CNN building by Columbus Circle. Next up, I want to introduce Dr. Muhammad Musa, President of the Tri-State Imams Council. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Inshallah, we will start with a dua. We will start with a dua. Our prayer for all brothers and sisters who were killed in New Zealand. Adu Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala an yataqabbalahum fi al-salihin. Amen. Allahumma anzilhum manazil al-nabiyyin. Amen. Wa al-siddiqin. Wa al-shuhada. Amen. والصالحين وحسن أولئك رفيقا اللهم اجعل دماءهم رحمة للعالمين اللهم اجعل دماءهم رحمة للعالمين ولعنة على الظالمين ولعنة على الظالمين واجعلها آخر دماء تسفك يا رب العالمين آمين آمين and I want I want to thank the Prime Minister of New Zealand for her standing in solidarity with the Muslims in New Zealand Second, we are not here as Muslims or Americans. We are here as a human being. Human being will stand together, united against Islamophobia, hatred, any kind of discrimination, and we stand together and work for peace and justice and freedom. Brothers and sisters, the main message of Islam 
and the main message of the all prophets of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the freedom. They looking for freedom for themselves to deliver the message of Allah and they looking the freedom of their followers and the freedom for all people and human beings. So we are here today for freedom. We are here today for justice, for mercy, for all mankind. Not for anybody and not for others. Brothers and sisters, let me to say this for all of you. We as a Muslim, we can say to anyone who want to terrify us or isolate us, we, you cannot. We will continue in contribution in the building of this country, in the civilization of this country. And I want to say, we have a huge responsibilities. Still, 50% or more here on in Europe or New Zealand, they have a wrong idea about you as Muslim and Islam. And we need to start from now and going on to build bridges with all people, with all faith, with all neighbors around us, our institutions, individuals. We have a huge responsibility to build bridges and to change the wrong idea with the all our fellow Americans. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you, bless our countries, bless our institutions, and protect us from any evil around us. We all of us against any act of terrorism. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you all. Inshallah. Uh, Assalamu alaikum everybody again. Um, you know, we, huh? oh, oh, so one, the violence that has been uh, caused against the native peoples all around the world, whether it's Palestinians, Native Americans, or, or the New Zealand. I remember that the Maori people of New Zealand showed so much support for the Muslim community in New Zealand. And, you know, we need to always remember the connections of our struggles and the connections of the violence that we face. We also must remember that 